this audience missed what happened during the break, I got quite a tongue lashing from our guest Chuck, who says that we may be ruining his career because we won't let him talk. So Chuck, please, okay. go right ahead. First of all, since this time, I used to be a male stripper for a couple of years. <laughs> no, but I know, I admit, I'm not saying I'm all that, all right? I'm not, I admit it. I'm not saying I'm, all, I'm overweight and all that junk, who cares? But when I was your guy's age of 23 or whatever, I was a male stripper. Believe it or not, what that I, I admit do I, with I'm you ugly, I admit, on right? your girlfriend, Chuck. Who cares? You know, Chuck, don't, I, I, don't have, I don't have a problem with you talking. We'll give you a chance to talk because you really want that. But let's stay on the subject of what the show is about, okay? okay? The subject the is The show this. is about you're sleeping around on your girlfriend with 60 other women in the past two years. I've stopped so what since do you, then. What do you have to say about your I've side of the story? I've stopped since then for the last eight months and I've turned to Jesus Christ. Oh. Whatever. I've always been a man. You want to say something? I'm stopped. Stand up. Got blonde guy. Chuck. Pal, you are in no shape to dance, and you must be paying these women a lot of money to look at your ugly body. Whatever, dude. I'm not a stripper no more. I said I was. I'm in a rock and roll band. First of all, first of all, first of all, you should know better to get up here first of all and disrespect her by saying that you was a stripper. You was a stripper, so what? You look broke. You look like an outcast from the hillbillies, number one. And you can... Hey. I say men, men like you and men like you give all the good men in the world a bad name. We hey. don't need y'all. We need more good men. Let's, let's move to on now to um, a se sexologist, Patty Britton. Uh, Patty, come to the rescue here. <laughs> Um, we're talking about some very basic issues here, even though things are pretty absurd. You're talking about somebody who slept with 60 other women. You're talking about somebody who's hitting women. What's going on here? What can we take from this if we're watching and need something to plot our own relationships, even as absurd as this is? Well, I, I have to be honest. My first inclination was to come out here with a whip and start flash, flashing it around like a lion tamer and say, you people have got to settle down and get into some self-control. I think that's a lot of what's not happening here. But to be serious for a minute, let me talk to you about what is really happening here. What I think this is about is really a lot of confusion about the meaning of sex. I think that a lot of people aren't clear on why they're having sex. And some of the things that are going on here are things like escape, I think Chuck is getting lost in kind of a druggy sensation when he has sex, kind of an escape trip, right? right. It's a habit. Hey, wait. One thing, and I'll be done. It's a habit in my life. I slept between eight and a thousand women, and believe it or not, now, okay, whatever. And that was before the mid-80s, and I've only done like 180 since then, so it's getting better. And now I've quit since the last eight months. Should I pray? I'm with Jesus Christ. Wait a minute, not to defend him. You argue with that. You can't. Not to you can't argue with that. Not hey, to Jesus. defend him, he don't look like much, okay? <laughs> but he is all that in one half. Do you hear what I'm saying? Okay? All right, he is. All right, now. Number one, now he told you he was with 50 women, right? And you said you can't watch him, but you, that should tell you right there, you shouldn't have to watch him. That should be your man, he should That's stay with right, you. That's right, and I'm not and, going to. And, and, and B, I mean, you should just, you are a nice looking woman, just get on with your life, you know what I'm saying? He, he might be all that, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of men who could do better and he don't look for me. Well, I'm going to tell you. Patty, let me ask you this. Does this boil down to the self-esteem issue again in this, in this case Gail. as well? It does. I think a lot of what happens is that, a lot of what happens is that men and women don't feel their own power. And they use sex as a weapon, they use sex as a tool for feeling powerful and that they have some self-worth. And I think that a lot of what we're seeing here is people who don't feel good enough about themselves to set healthy personal boundaries. I would say it's not just the, the women who have self-esteem problems, it's the guys too. the men and the women. That's yes, exactly yes. right. First of all, I think that they kind of deserve what they get. I'm against everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Because if they're going to stand around and they're going to let these guys do this to them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And they, they should just get what they deserve, you know what I'm saying? Second of all, I think my man's pants are pretty tight. <laughs> Come on, back here, who is it? Ladies, ladies, you, you're all beautiful ladies up here. I don't see what it is that you have to hang around with these guys if you know exactly how, what they're doing to you and how they, um, how they, what are the you, ladies? You. 
Yeah. Why are you ladies you. going to, to, what are you going to do when the show is over and you have to go back home? What are you going to do, Gail? Actually, he basically knows that if he's ever caught oh. again, Lada, please, if say he's so, ever please. caught again, he please. knows that next time he gets attacked, it's he not going to be with my hand. He just admitted it to you, girl. And the what girl, do you need a building to fall on your head? He's caught. Walk. He's caught. So he's he's caught. not caught. Drop him. You don't you mean him. It. You're sitting on national TV playing yourself. You're a beautiful African American you. woman. You're supposed to be a queen. And you're supposed right. to be I treated like a queen. That's and you don't let no man disrespect you the way this man has. And that goes for both of you. And we'll be right back in a minute.